from Louisiana's home team. This is Fox 8 Morning Edition at 8 a.m. There's an absurdity to these two guys yeah. in a world that's, you know, you look around what's going on in the world right now, Dumb and Dumber 2 is a very safe place to escape to for two hours. Jeff Daniels and Jim Carrey reunite for the long-awaited sequel to the movie Dumb and Dumber. And believe it or not, it has been 20 years. And Mike Scott with NOLA.com, the Times Speaker You, and joins us now with more on what's showing in theaters, including that movie. And we were saying yesterday, 20 years, is that right? But That's yeah, right. It yeah, has it's, been. it's been a while. Remember they had a, they had a prequel that came out a few years afterwards that uh, Jim Carrey and Jeff Daniels weren't mm -hmm. in. That's so, right. Yeah, that I was remember a little, that. I think that was Dumb and Dumberer. <laughs> <So> that, <laughs> With would get, a little... that would get Dumb and Dumber 2. two. And right. this is probably going to be the one that wins the box office, at least among the new movies. Last week's uh, Disney movie, uh, Big Hero 6, may reclaim the crown. But this will give it a run for its money. And this is a what you, what you see is what you get kind of movie. You already know what's what in store. And you probably already know if you're going to go see this movie or not. And according to all the reviews, there's no surprises. It's really sort of... It's kind of a one joke movie, just, you know, two idiots being idiots yeah. for, for an hour and a half. So like Jeff Daniels says, it's a, it's a safe place to go to escape life unless you're, mm -hmm. you know, allergic to idiocy, in which case <laughs> it might not be so safe. But yeah, but, yeah you know I you're going to get a good laugh. You'll get, you'll get it, it, a few laughs in there, right? And you'll have to sit through some, some you know, lulls probably, but you'll get a few laughs. Yeah, in there. I mean, sometimes we expect that with sequels. Yeah, exactly. All right, Beyond the Lights, exact opposite. This is a romance? Yeah, this is like <laughs> counter-programming for, you know, people who don't want to see Dumb and Dumber. That's not their cup of tea. Beyond the Lights is a romance. It stars Gugu Mbatha Raw, who's an up-and-coming actor. She appeared in Belle earlier this year, and she plays a, a, a rising pop star. And who's sort of dealing with the, you know, struggling with fame, and then sort of the man who saves her, the, the cop who saves her. So it's it's sort of a rip off of the bodyguard. The buzz on this is that it's really kind of a soap opera writ large. But Dumb again, you here. don't want to go see Dumb and Dumber. This is at the total and opposite end of the spectrum. Yeah, different extremes here. You've got a couple of movies that are also coming out that he told me when he came oh, in. Yeah. He's giving both of them five stars. I'm excited. I don't know You've, if I've ever done that. You in haven't the same done week it. Before. Right. I got to order a new box of stars this, now. I want to hear about these two, <laughs> especially this next one, Whiplash. Um, if you like music, it seems like this one is going to be a this really good one. This is a good one, it's, especially if you're a musician and you know what it's like to just practice, practice, practice and be obsessed with being not just a great, one of the greats. And that's what this story is about. It stars Miles Teller as a young jazz drummer who signs on with a prestigious New York music conservatory where he's got a very demanding instructor in the form of J.K. Simmons uh, to the point of where he's abusive, verbally abusive, abusive, emotionally abusive, physically abusive, but all with the goal of trying to get greatness out of this kid. And the performances are just out of the out of this world. I think J.K. Simmons could get an Oscar nomination for supporting actor. He's he's tremendous in it. Miles Teller's very good. The, it, it moves really quick. It's nicely edited. It's uh, the, the music is fantastic. Sold. <laughs> you, you, yeah, you <laughs> I don't sold have to it. say anymore. Right. Right. And you said they mentioned Wynton Marcellus yeah, in he, the movie. He, he gets a shout out. Just Marcellus at Lincoln Center gets a quick shout out. <laughs> so, cool. so the hometown crowd can look for that. But yeah, I really love this movie. It played at the New Orleans Film Festival in October. Now it's going to be getting a full run this weekend. I couldn't. I can't recommend it highly enough. All right, we've run out of time, but Citizen Four if you had to wrap it up in one sentence. It's a great documentary, eye-opening and even terrifying about uh, uh, Edward Snowden, the NSA leaker. Got all kinds of information on that in this week's other movies at NOLA.com slash movies. NOLA.com, go check it out. Both five stars. Yep. All right. Good stuff. All right, thanks so much, Mike Scott. Still to come, watch as this orphan little sea otter gets to know her family.